Hello everybody and welcome back to Surviving Mars. In the last episode, we put down our first medium dome. It's currently being uh, built. All of the materials are being gathered and put together. Uh, we're also starting to fill out our dome. We have only one vacant work slot in the dome currently, so that's great. In our current, uh, like, uh, our current habitable dome, we also had our first Martian born right here, which is uh, Spirit Sinus. We play the tracks that will make you relax. Found out this guy's the radio host for, uh, for, what is it? Is it the Red Frontier? Yeah, Red Frontier, which I'm loving. Uh, and we're starting to get to the point where we can export our rare metals to Earth. Which is going to be great. That'll give us some good income. We're almost most of the way to autonomous sensors, which will decrease our reliance on power for the sensor towers, and they won't need maintenance anymore. So that's metal that we'll, won't have to dedicate towards those. So we could build a couple of these on the outskirts of our areas and uh, increase our bonus to our boost for scanning. It's most of the way done. We just need a little bit more metals and a couple more, well, a lot more concrete. But we have a lot of stored up concrete to the point where our concrete extractor is actually full. There's not enough uh, storage over here for the concrete. So we'll put down a concrete depot with the other depots over here. Our transport. Uh, you can deposit your metal on the depot there. Autonomous sensors are done. Great. It's a factory upgrade. Um, let's see here. Ah, uh, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? You know what? We're putting a breakthrough on. Yep, and our outsourcing's almost done. But we are making quite a bit more research because of our research lab. Which has uh, three actual scientists on it. And they're, uh... They're putting out 205 research a day. Which is nice. So nobody has gaming, there's no social, but there is social! There is! Uh... You got all of these... I thought there was social. No. No. Okay, so there's no social, but you know, you know what, that's fine. What do you need to socialize for? I mean, you get to work. Water is going to become an issue as well. Maybe, maybe not. That was close. So, yep, yeah, like like I said, there's no more maintenance bar, and the power consumption is zero on these things. So that's done. That one's almost done. Those will go, and then why don't we start on these? Pipe leak reported. We got a pipe leak right there. Okay, that they will get taken care of pretty easy. Okay, nobody's exporting but BFR three, and it's not halfway full, but it's getting close. It's good enough. It's good enough. Because, uh, what's the extractor making per day? 2.1. So, yeah. Yeah, it's, that, that'll fill that up pretty quick. Sector scanned. Okay, so... You got a little bit of, yeah, metals on the ground in the actual canyon bit. Those will finish soon. Why don't we put down on infrastructure a sensor tower up here... Just to give us a bit more coverage. We'll have you go over there. And you'll start building that sensor tower. Malfunctioning pipe has been fixed, so there we go. Didn't hurt us too bad.
If it really comes down to it, we can get rid of these uh, areas here that have the exercise, relaxation, and playing, and we could do something that gives social. And you are listening to the Red Frontier. We'll give you the song that will make you feel strong. Like dining, the diners gives you social. But it requires three spaces, which would be the same as, uh... It'll be the same as the lake. Ah, uh, do we want to do that? Mm. You know what? We're going to do that. Yeah, we'll do that. We still have a, a small garden, small alleys right there. We'll put down a diner. There we go. So that'll deal with the social that they're requesting. We can't do much about the gaming. That's unfortunate. But, I mean, we can't we can't do the uh, electronic shop because we don't have tech parts. And we can't do Cable the casino because we don't have the space for it. Cable malfunction. Okay, that's getting fixed, looks like. Okay, our... Waste rock is full, so let's put down some more dumping sites. Just a bit right there. Now, there is tech that I know that you can use to convert waste rock into concrete, but it's fairly low, or uh, not low, it's fairly high up there, so it takes a while to get to. So you're gonna have a lot of these sites just fill up, and you gotta make more of them. Okay, most of the way to the medium dome being finished. How's the sensor tower doing? Needs one electronic part. Okay. One building not okay. That building. What building was that that wasn't working? Hopefully it's not because we are low on power. No, we're good on power. Huh. wonder what it is. Oh, maybe it was the concrete. I mean, that's a possibility. Yeah, it looks like it's getting full, so that was probably it. Huh. <sighs> Relaxing music. A lot of food just sitting around. We're making a lot of food, though. We're making a lot of it. Okay, and we're on the soybeans currently. Soybean, and actually, it's so good. The, the building performance is so good, it's more than its base. We're at uh, we're, the optimal harvest is 34, but we're <laughs> but so far we're getting 36 out of this harvest. So that's actually pretty good. <sighs> okay, sensor tower's up. 30%. So yeah, that uh, it isn't... There's no diminishing returns yet that I'm seeing, so that's good. Where was the drone that I assigned to this thing? Oh well, it'll go back to its main drone hub sooner or later. Cable fault reported. Medium dome is almost there. Needs nine more concrete. Eight more concrete. By the time we get one hold full of these rare materials, we're going to have all four rockets refueled. Which, I mean, it wouldn't be a bad thing, but it's still... I'd rather get it out now, get the money, then I could uh, use the money to get another supply rocket with maybe some more electronics? Or something else. Okay, it's being built. You just see how big the medium dome is compared to the small dome in terms of build area. So much. And yep, they're building it up. All right. A 
Where is our... There it is. Could head over... I guess not really. There's not a lot of surface metals anymore. Got most of them. I think that one's good. I'll have you go over there. Start extracting those off the ground. Just to give us a boost. Because we're only producing so much from our extractor. 9.5 a day. Sector scanned. That one's done. 14 out of 30 on the hold here. Need more exports. <sighs> okay, diner's up and running. So how is this helping us here? Okay, that's... And not, get, not getting as much relaxation, but morale went up a little bit, so that's good. Hmm. And there we go, dome is up. And yeah, we're low on O2, so let's, uh... Let's build a... where is it at? Moxie. We'll build a second Moxie, and we'll put it over here with uh, a pipe and it coming out with its power cord as well and the moxie will go at the end of it then we'll have some o2 storage down here as well research complete And there we go, we got training, so scientists and botanists are better at what they do. Now, let's start picking up some of these techs in robotics and physics. Again, subsurface heater's good. And there we go, we've got a medium dome. Got some vacant work slots. Looks like it's for the... I'm not sure where it's for. Eh, I guess it just... Is it counting? I don't know what's counting. Eh, oh well. Either way. We've got the diner up, which should be helping people kind of get some social in. Relaxation's gone down a bit. That's because they lost the lake, which was a large relaxation point. But people are getting some relaxation in the small garden and in the alleyway. Yeah, the small alleys. That's good. Farm's doing great. Farm's still increasing that yield. We were at 34 is the base yield, and we're at 37.5. Is we going to get 38? If we get 40 out of that, that'd be great. Uh, and because of the recent research we just got, our performance went up. So that's good, too. How about the uh, research lab? Yeah, performance went up there as well. Nice. So the next thing for us to do would be to start building up our homes in the main dome here. So we'll put down some apartment complexes in these areas here. Project's a bit expensive, but I think worth it. This is the Red Frontier, and, and we are getting low on water again. As you know, a day on Mars is a little pipe leak reported. To be exact, 39 minutes and 35 seconds longer. I don't know if this tiny difference influences my sensitive sleeping habits, but sometimes I find it harder to fall asleep here than on Earth. And when I can't sleep, I read. The other night, I came across a book on baseball history. Oh boy, that didn't help me sleep at all. I was always a Red Sox fan, so I eagerly read about their history. Did you know that after winning the first World Series <sighs> in 1903... The I'm sorry, I'm listening to this guy. ...more championships up to 1918? 
isn't that impressive. Then, for some stupid reason and right out of the blue, they sold one of their most valuable players, Babe Ruth, to the New York Yankees. <laughs> Can you believe that? Well, it took them 86 years to win the World Series again. I guess they'll never sell Mr. Ruth again. <laughs> oh, I got carried away. Here is a tune for champions. I really like this guy. I don't give a shit about baseball, but I'd listen to him talk about it for hours. That was really good. <laughs> they got a really good personality to be the radio man in this. Ah, so if I go quiet like that, I'm just listening to him talk. So sorry about that if it's annoying, but it's it's just uh, I find I find that kind of stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I, like I like I said, if I if there was an actual Mars-based radio program, I'd tune in and listen to it. If I could get it on Sirius XM, that'd be in my car everywhere I drove. Okay, so that's gonna be heavy in polymers, but. That'll give us a good amount of... Ha we can get a lot of people moved in here. We can start working on... Uh, maybe a school. A couple other things. There's a lot of options. We can also make this a bread basket. We make one of these quadrants like our food production center. And uh, get rid of the, uh, the farm in uh, the small dome. We'll see about that. It's an option. 16 out of 30, so we're continually increasing uh, how much we have in our hold here, but uh, we are... You know what? Yeah, we're just going to launch it. BFR 3, we need some money. 16 out of 30. It's more than half. It won't be a lot, but it'll be enough. And let's continue on these slopes of the canyon here sector scanned there it goes all right what are we researching right now low g fungi so that'll give us the that'll give us the external farm that we could get it gives us daily food production of like three or four depending on the performance of the actual um of the actual farm itself building. Okay, that has been built. That's good. So now they'll start working on these other ones. Definitely want to put down some more farms in here because we are down to 61 on our food from our 80 high. So I'm assuming we're outstretching our food production just by a little bit. But then again, we might have 40 f coming in from this... Uh, yield of soybeans, which is amazing. <laughs> okay, you have deposited your hold, so why don't you recharge and go back out? It's a lot of extra metals we just got. What we'll do is we'll stockpile our materials, our rare metals, to put onto another rocket and fill it up full and then launch it. But BFR-3 is going with a little bit of uh, rare materials, and hopefully we get some money out of that. A decent... it won't be a lot, but it's enough. It'll it'll bring us back up to a billion funding. I think. It'll be close. Research complete. Low G fungi is done. Hmm. Well, what do we want to do? Could do Martian patents. Uh, why don't we pick up drone hubs? So that's the last one. It's the last sector scan we have up here in this northern stretch of territory. We'll do the canyon, and then I guess the next thing we'll do is we'll just start going down the side and around. So, what's the next one we should go for? Let's get that one. Just go around. Be kind of methodical.
Okay, Moxie's putting out quite a bit of uh, O2. And we got extra O2 storage just in case. I think we are going to start looking at increasing our power production again. Yeah, you need metals. You need metals, but there are no metals to have. Let's have you pick up metals. Big hold of them, maybe 30 or 45. Yeah, we'll do a full 45. Just get everything, then we'll deposit it over here. On this uh, bit. Unload resources there. You got three rare metals there. We'll have to work on those. Okay, one more concrete, and this one's ready to go. And that one's got a little ways to go, but it's still pretty close. Hmm, let's... We have a power shortage. Let's see here. Yeah. Did not have enough. That expansion really hit us hard. Didn't uh, prepare far enough ahead of time. Let's have a secondary power station put in here. Just of our standard kind of uh, solar panel deposit. No, not deposit, solar panel shortly. section. Might look at m maybe going over towards a uh, wind-based solution. Because wind will be produced all at all times. Takes up about the same amount of space, though. Yep, 320 million in funding from that 16 rare metals. And that has helped us out quite a bit. Yeah. Still plenty of space there. We'll get some more solar panels for you. As much as we can get. We'll get that power going. Should help us out there. The building's not working. Yeah, concrete. It's always the concrete. There's We never use enough to really uh, deplete it. Okay, you're almost done. We really wore through our polymer supply. We're producing enough to outstretch what we're using once we uh, once we finish building. Or actually, not really, because we have the art. Yeah, we have the art workshop. Hmm. We could put them on a high workload. So on heavy workload, they'll produce two a day, or no, they'll produce a decent amount per day. Hopefully that helps. Just have them going double time. Yeah, and food's doing fine right now. Heavy workload working on these uh, buildings. Yeah, on both of these groups. There it is. Uh, put that there. So yeah, we're scanning along. So this is actually a decent little section here with some rare materials, uh, metal deposit, and some basic uh, concrete. We have a power shortage. Yes, thank you. I noticed. Open this power extension will help a bit. Might have to migrate it all down over here into its own like little substation. So we can get a bit more space out of it.
It's gotta be getting the morning soon. Get some power flowing into the system. Okay, you're almost done with that third apartment complex. Okay, with that done, all the drones will be able to start working on other projects like the power extensions that we're putting in. Yeah, there we go. Oh, they don't need polymer. No, I'm thinking, okay, I'm wrong. No, the polymers are used for the upgrade for wind turbines. So we could start... What do we got for... What do we got for our... Uh, advanced resources? Got enough that we could probably make a couple. So let's... Do this. We're gonna... Kind of make that one go away. And that one go away. And then we'll kind of... Go out with our cabling. the distance here. Okay, it's not... Yeah, it's a little too far, then. We'll do this, though. I have a stretch of cabling coming out on the bottom here for just wind turbines. Start with three. Just because they're... Well, they're not too expensive, but they're expensive enough that I don't want to go overboard on them. Okay, and things are starting to come up. Charging's happening. Might have to put more batteries in, though. See, that's the thing. Batteries require polymer, though. So that's going to be the big uh, problem. So we're going to start... We're going to have to get some people into this dome here to work the metal extractor. So the crew from the metal extractor can be folded back into the main group. And we can uh, double up on the shift for the polymer factory. Get two going because right now we're producing 2.4 a day i'd rather get that up to three or four a day so yeah that's the current problem we're having just a lack of people well, i mean we could also move this over here and have it be worked by the uh, larger group that'll be inside of this dome but that'll have to be for next episode because we are at the end of this episode. So thank you for joining me for this. If you liked it, please leave a comment down below. So hit that like button. If you want to help support the channel, consider that subscribe button, as well as take a look at the description down below where I have links to my Discord and my Patreon page. I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.